In my opinion, most of the international car companies are slower in electrification than Chinese car companies, their technology is lagging behind, and their industrial chain layout is poor. The goal of China's new energy vehicles to change lanes and overtake has basically been achieved. Why is that? At present, China's new energy vehicle sales have reached 59% of the global market, nearly double the level of Europe. In addition, as of the end of June 2022, the number of new energy vehicles in China has exceeded 10 million. At the same time, China has built the world's largest charging network. As of June this year, China has built a total of 3.92 million electric vehicle charging infrastructure. In 2025, it will meet the charging needs of more than 20 million electric vehicles. However, China still has shortcomings in the new energy vehicle industry chain. For example, Japan, Europe and the United States and other countries are engaged in research in the China's weak field, such as power batteries, and they have formed some leading advantages. For example, Japanese and Korean companies have already taken the lead in the number of patents in the field of solid-state batteries. In short, the achievements of China's new energy industry are very excellent, but at the same time, China should remain vigilant and continue to achieve breakthroughs in key technologies. From Chinese government financial subsidies that lasted for several years, to round after round of policy support, and even the introduction of Tesla in China to form the catfish effect of the new energy vehicle market. In an environment with policy advantages, Chinese brands took the lead in starting to deploy and transform into the field of new energy vehicle. Chinese brands, which originally did not have advantages in the automotive market, are more determined in their electrification transition. In 2020, China announced a dual carbon goal, peaking carbon emissions by 2030 and achieving carbon neutrality by 2060. It is worth noting that the time from peak to net zero emissions in China is shorter than in countries such as the United States, France, and Germany. Not long ago, a proposal by the European Parliament to stop the sale of new fuel vehicles in the EU in 2035 has been passed in controversy. It is estimated that in 2030, the annual sales of new energy vehicles will reach 55 million. By 2035, most countries in the world will ban the sale of fuel vehicles and fully enter the era of new energy vehicles. In addition to the requirements of environmental protection and the dual carbon goal, in the view of Wang Chuanfu, chairman of BYD, China's vigorous development of electric vehicles has another in-depth consideration. Wang Chuanfu said that China has imported 72% of its oil in 2021, and within all Chinese oil, 70% is used for transportation. Cars consume 70% of China's oil, so there is more urgency than any other country to develop electric vehicles in China. At the same time, how to change the status of Chinese brands in the fuel vehicle market is also one of the problems to be solved urgently. German cars, American cars and Japanese cars have always had a strong competitive advantage in the international market. In contrast, China's traditional fuel vehicle manufacturing and research and development started late, and there is a huge gap compared with international giants. But in the field of new energy vehicles, all countries and all car companies have been pulled back to a new starting point. China is making its own way, bypassing the West's superiority in the internal combustion engine, and preparing to achieve the same level of technology as the West. The data shows that from 2005 to 2015, the penetration rate of new energy vehicles in China only broke through 1%, while from 2016 to the first half of 2019, the penetration rate quickly increased from 1% to 5%. From the second half of 2020, the industry embarked on the fast track of growth. In the first half of 2022, 
the penetration rate of new energy vehicles in China has reached 21.6%. In China's new car sales market today, one out of every five cars sold is a new energy vehicle. BYD sold 641,000 vehicles in the first half of this year, a year-on-year -year increase of more than 300%, a figure that surpassed Tesla's half-year sales of 564,000. BYD, which has taken the top spot in the global sales of new energy vehicles, is accelerating its entry into the global market. On July 21, BYD held a brand press conference in Tokyo, announcing its official entry into the Japanese passenger car market. At the same time, China's power batteries have performed well in terms of vehicle loading and technical level. As of the end of June this year, China's total installed capacity of power batteries has reached 531.9 GWh, maintaining a global lead. From the data in 2021, the total installed capacity of power batteries in China will reach 154.5 GWh, accounting for about 50% of the global installed capacity. Among the top 10 companies in the global power battery installed capacity, Chinese companies occupy six seats, with a market share of about 48%. In the first half of this year, the installed capacity of power batteries in China was 110.1 GWh, a year-on-year -year increase of 109.8%. Among them, the loading volume of ternary lithium batteries accounted for 41.4%, a year-on-year -year increase of 51.2%, the loading volume of lithium iron phosphate batteries accounted for 58.5%, a year-on-year -year increase of 189.7%. At the same time, China's power battery technology level has rapidly improved, and a complete industrial chain covering basic materials, battery cells, battery systems, and manufacturing equipment has been formed. The global market share of anode materials has reached 90%, and the independent supply rate of diaphragm materials has exceeded 90%. The system energy density of ternary lithium battery and lithium iron phosphate battery is at the international leading level. Up to now, the number of China's power battery standards has accounted for more than 40% of the global proportion. In my opinion, although the battery was not invented in China, China has already achieved overtaking in corners. At present, China's battery technology and battery production have reached 60% of the world's total production capacity. The future development goals are high energy density, high safety, long life, and low cost. In the field of power batteries, companies such as CATL and BYD have become industry leaders. The data shows that the global installed capacity of power batteries from January to May 2022 is 157.4 GWh, of which CATL ranks first in the list and the installed capacity of power batteries from January to May is 53.3 GWh. In the first half of this year, CATL's global installed capacity market share reached 34%, compared with 28% last year. At the same time, BYD's market share in June 2022 was 18.53%, ranking second in China's power battery installations. At present, almost all the blade batteries produced by BYD are used in its own models. In other words, BYD, a new energy vehicle manufacturer alone, has installed nearly 20% of the blade batteries in the Chinese market. In fact, the competition in the new energy vehicle market is still a long-distance race. China is currently in a leading position due to its early departure. But the race is long, and the traditional auto powerhouses have already begun to fight back against the new energy vehicle field. At present, China has formed a scale in the field of new energy vehicles, but has not yet formed an absolutely technological advantage. 
For China's new energy vehicle industry, in order to maintain its leading edge and defend its leading position, it still needs to face up to its own advantages and shortcomings. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.